exiting Canyon Blanco, and it has that name because of the beautiful white rocks all around this water. We got our water shoes on. We have sunscreen on, and we have finally arrived. So one of the things we're gonna be on the lookout for is hieroglyphs from the Taino. They were the natives here in Puerto Rico. The things Dad told us to look out for here was Taino hieroglyphs. And as I was climbing around here, I found one and it looks like a human face and I think it looks really cool. I mean, it kind of looks like a monkey or a wolf, but there's like the eyes, the mouth, and the nose, and the face, and it's carved right into this rock. We're head climbers looking for stuff and um, explorers, and I need a new stick. Okay. Oh, another hieroglyph. That looks like a mountain lion. I found another one and it's crazy to know that people like 500 to 1,000 years ago were standing right here carving this. I'm in my closet. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in here. I'm trying to start the pre-packing, which is the sorting. What are we getting rid of? What are we keeping? What are we taking on the trip? Which that's like very, very microscopic amounts of things. So yeah, I'm just sitting on the floor of my closet, having fun. You okay? Yep. That, one that mountain? It's gorgeous. That's crazy. Whoa. I mean, it's nothing compared to the Grand Canyon, but the Grand Canyon, you can't play it. Yep. This is cool, huh? Right there is a really famous spot called the Sofa. Boom. They made it! So this is the sofa. Picture time. Scoot up, Janae. I brought a GoPro out here, but it's dead. Like it must have been on and I didn't realize it. The battery is completely dead. So I'm carrying around this backpack and this camera and trying to do all of this without getting them wet. It's an adventure all on its own. All right, the pile in the hallway is growing. So one thing that we tackled last week in our preparation for the world trip was cleaning out the freezer and the pantry. We had to kind of sort through everything and figure out what we had because we have to try to eat it all before we leave. So now the pantry is looking nice and tidy and I'm trying to just, you know, eat this stuff instead of go shopping. The freezer is becoming slightly less cramped. hard for me to not be out on the adventure with Jeremy and the kids this morning. I don't want to miss out on anything. But this time right now, these last few weeks of trip prep and getting ready to move out of our house and getting ready to pack everything up and finishing homeschool and a million other things is really pushing me to my limit. And so I was talking to Jeremy and I was like, I need help. Like I need a break. I need a time when the kids are out of the house and I can get some work done inside the house. And so we came up with the solution that once a week for these last couple of weeks, he is gonna take the kids out on a field trip, out on an adventure, so that I can have the house to myself to get stuff done. Anyway, so my first priority was getting out this morning, going on a walk, moving my body, trying to get my brain in the right space because I can't start this trip already burnt out and exhausted. I've gotta take care of my mental health. All right, we found a spot that we think we could do some cliff jumping, but we want to be careful, so we got to go and check. Did you touch the bottom? No. Okay, going to do it. Good job. Oh, oh, thanks. Okay. Isaac wants to do it. Touch. 
So Janae, you don't have to do this, okay? And I want to, to be like the big kids, and I want, to, and it looks fun. But then I know Sarah was actually kind of high, and it was dangerous, and it was kind of scary. But I wanted to. I'm glad that you realize that it is dangerous and scary. That's totally fine. So I just got something done and I was so excited I went to check it off the to-do list because the to-do list is massive and every time I can check something off it just feels go so good. Well, it wasn't written on the to-do list. So I did what any sane person would do. I wrote it down on the to-do list and then checked it off. It still felt good to check it off. So Caleb and Isaac do not want to leave until they get on top of this rock in the middle of the water. One of the funnest ways to play out in the wilderness is to have some kind of objective like crossing a river or jumping a cliff or climbing a wall and then trying over and over again to try to figure it out. I made it over to this middle part, but I'd have to climb this wall to get over to where Isaac and Caleb are. So I think I could climb up here, but I don't know how I would get back down. So to just play it safe, I'm gonna just go back. This is like my favorite kind of place to go because I love climbing on like rocks and boulders and jumping over water and creeks. So Jeremy took the kids out. They're having this super fun time. He told me that they would be back by about 11.30. So I didn't stress about it at noon. I didn't stress about it at 12.30. And then I started getting stressed. So I call him and the place is like an hour and 15 minutes away and his phone just goes straight to voicemail. So that means they're still out of like service area. And now I'm starting to get worried. Like he has them up in this canyon. I'm sure he's taking good care of them. I'm sure they're just having too much fun, but I'm starting to get anxious. Like, is everybody okay? I just like my family. I want them to be okay. All right, we found a restaurant. We're gonna see if it has anything gluten-free. For here. Okay, hey, they're trying grape soda. I'm a big fan, I love grape soda. Mm, that's like the first time I've had it. Some people feel like it tastes like medicine. I love it. Alright, we found some gluten free food. Wow. You guys want some? Yeah. That was a good lunch. It's always fun to eat authentic Puerto Rican food. I just got the text from Jeremy. Everybody's fine. They're just having a good time. That was like a stressful hour for me when I couldn't hear from them. I'm just so used to cell phones and used to be able to like keep in touch and know that everything's going on and, and knowing that they're safe and I'm glad they had a good time, but that was kind of stressful. We're just back from our adventure. I feel so tired, but we're checking right now the mailbox to see if the passports have arrived. Whoa, I think this is what we were looking for. What is it? It's the passports. <gasps> Yay! Wait, what do passports do? It's what allows us to go into other countries. Oh. Pretty important. Yeah. So it's not very often that the kids have mail that shows up in their name. It's very exciting. And that's what the passports It is. Are. So this one says, to Caleb. Whoop. Let's open it up. Let's see it. The passport. Yes! There it is. There it is. That's the little microchip. So Caleb just asked what the pages are for in the passport. It says visas on the top. Is this where they put like the stamp thingy? Yeah. So when we go into different border controls at the different countries we enter, they will stamp the passport. And that is like our visa, our permission to be in their country legally. So we can't show you guys the inside pages of their passports for obvious safety reasons. Passport! Does it have your face on it? Mm-hmm. Does it have your name on it? Uh, yeah. Does it have your age on it, like your birthday? Yeah, I see it. There it is, your passport. Is that your picture? Isaac, how's yours turn out? I like it. So how many day. pages do you think will fill? I don't know. I'm really thinking we should have gotten the extra thick book. I don't like my picture. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, the time has come for a haircut. My hair is so long. I think this, wait, let me see if I can touch it to my tongue. I've never been able to ever. Did I get it? Maybe. 
Isaac found this photo. That's what he's going for. I want to try something new. I'm gonna do hair, Mama. Elise wanted to do some training with Sunny. Hi, Good, Good boy. boy. Good boy. Sit. 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 Okay. Good boy. How are you gonna sit? Janae and I are playing a game with her reading lesson today. It's kind of like charades. She has to read a phrase and then go up and act it out. And then I have to guess what it is that she's acting out. So here's the phrases. Let's see if we can guess. What are you doing? Is it your eyelash? Eyelash? What is, what is one of these that has to do with eyelashes? Oh, wait a minute, I see it. It's your smile. You're smiling. Okay, mark that one off. When we get all of them, then you win. What is she doing? What is she doing with her hands? <laughs> this is so tough. Are you using a pen? Mm-hmm. That was a pen? No, I thought it was a pin. Oh, it's a hard word to read, huh? Especially when you're reading it in your mind. It is hard to read in your head instead of reading it out loud, huh? What is she doing? <laughs> what is she doing? Are you taking a walk? Yes! Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, I think you open, no, you close the gate. Yes. <laughs> are you driving a car? Uh-huh. You are a fast driver. So I posted about this recently over on Instagram, but Janae finished her kindergarten language arts program just a couple weeks ago. She has worked so hard on learning how to read this year and it has been an absolute joy to teach her. Teaching my kids to read has been such a special, special thing for me. It's actually, of all the like growing up milestones, I feel like I'm getting most emotional about this one. Like she's my last baby to teach to read and it's so fun to watch her enjoying it. I mean, she's picking up all sorts of books and trying to read signs when we're out and about and she's writing notes. And so it's so fun to see her growing up in that way, but it's just kind of hard have all my kids growing up. Anyway, she did not want to wait to start level one, so we ordered level one of her language arts. We dove right into it, so we're already like 16 or so lessons into this, but I'm just excited. <laughs> some of our amazing friends planned a little going away party for us, just a little backyard barbecue with some friends, and everybody's bringing a dessert. We are bringing gluten-free Rice crispy Treats. It's kind of weird to go to a party for us. I know, it's super uncomfortable. Like we're so excited to see everybody, but I'd rather celebrate somebody else and we can like sneak out the back door. One of the great things about the party is with most of my friends here in the neighborhood, they'll say, hey, look, we need to get together. And we're just not able to get together with everybody all at once. And so to be able to have a chance to see everybody all at once is really good. It actually means so much to me so much to me that like even though we've only been here for a couple of years that we have made so many dear friends we really love our people here he's loading everything up for a one night beach camp out we can fit everything for a year in a backpack but can we fit everything for an overnighter and in the early morning we're going to be surfing and we're going to play some ultimate frisbee tonight i'm really excited you guys going to do a fire on the beach yeah we're going to do a beach bonfire important disclaimer a few of the dads are going with the boys Definitely not sending him alone. So here's a snack that won't get all crunched. I'm so excited. I've never done like a beach beach right now. Yeah, it will be awesome. I bet the morning sunrise will be beautiful. I bet you'll get like so much sleep. Like so much I sleep. I might get like four hours. <laughs> Good night, Jesus out. What happened to your face? What are our plans? What are we doing with our dog for a whole year? Whoa. 
but it's over 300 pounds. Haley's has been helping. Do you think there's life outside of Earth? 